Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I am finally home after six months and eight days, to be exact, of traveling Brazil. So I am just got home last night and we're getting straight into it. I'm getting back into the go-kart. I'm going out for a practice day for an upcoming race this weekend in Melbourne. So just picked up some brekkie, got a coffee and a bacon egg roll and we are going to head out to the track right now and I want to take you guys for a lap around the track with me. Let's go. Alright, let's go for a lap around the Ipswich track. So we're just getting pushed out of the grid here. We do one warm up lap before we get straight into a hard lap. Getting everything up to temperature, getting the brakes, getting the tyres, making sure everything is good to go for our fast lap. So this track we generally do a fast lap within 47 seconds and we do a top speed of around 128 kilometers an hour. So that's pretty quick considering how short the straight is and obviously how low we are to the floor. Um, so that is a pretty quick um, lap time. This is a very tight and technical track. Uh, I will take you through all the gear changes and everything, so try and keep up as it is a uh, very quick track and there is a lot of gear changes, over 30 gear changes a lap. All right, so we are coming onto the main straight now. We're gonna go straight up into six gear here, and then we go straight down two gears, and then another gear here, and then we're coming out. We go up one gear, hold that gear all the way around here, and then another gear up, and then straight back down. And then we're going into this corner here, and we're going down one gear, up one gear, holding it, holding it, and then we go out, up another gear, and then straight back down. And then out of this corner, we're going all the way up into fifth gear, hard on the brakes, back down to second. And again, powering out of that corner all the way up into fifth, and then just hard on the brakes, back down into second. And then this is a back straight, 128 kilometers here, all the way up into sixth gear, very hard on the brakes here at the end. We're going into second, powering out, up one gear, straight back, coming out of that tight corner, coming onto the main straight in fifth, and then getting six right about there. And that is a lap done. Enjoy this lap guys. Hey guys, we are back at home in the shed. So I hope you enjoyed that lap. And I wanna take you guys around the go-kart a little bit and explain a few of the features of this go-kart as they're not very common to the public. All right, so I wanna show you guys exactly what this go-kart is made of. All right, so we're starting from the front. As you can see, that go-kart has all the panels. I've just put them on the floor so I can show you guys a bit easier. So obviously this is the uh, accelerator and brake. Um, so all this here is bracketry for the, um, the front end. And uh, so basically we have three brake discs on board. So we got one small one there, one small brake disc there. And we also have one big one on the back. Okay, so it's obviously not centered. It's just uh, a bit off to the left of that, okay? 
And then we're gonna go right here. So this is our steering wheel. This is the clutch, all right? So we don't use the clutch for every gear change. We only use this clutch for our starts. So we do standing starts. Um, so that's the only time we use the clutch, all right? And then this is our onboard um, data that we're gonna get. You get your water temperature, your lap time, um, sort of everything you need to know. And then right here is the gear stick. All right, so that goes, it's pretty much like a motorbike. First is forward, and then second to six is back. All right. Um, so we'll go to the back of the cart now. So obviously the wheels on the back are a lot thicker than the ones on the front. And then we've got our radiator. So this is a very expensive radiator, a PWR one, um, locally made and really, really good. So very expensive. Um, then we've got all our muffler, tuned pipe, and then the motor, so obviously this is all the red pipes you're looking at are water. All right, so this is a one, two, five, six speed gearbox motor. All right, specially made for go-karts. Um, they're really big over in Europe. So this motor is a Vortex, so it is made in Italy. Most of them are made in Italy. So that's the, uh, the motor. You've got the carburetor there, and this is the air intake where all the air goes into. All right, so a lot of these, uh, they are all carbureted, no direct injection or anything like that. That is the clutch, and that's just a, a nice looking clutch cover there. So this is the go-kart. These go-karts can reach up to around 180 kilometers an hour. So pretty fast for only being very low to the floor, all right? And if you are looking at the seat, it does look like it's very lent back, but when you're sitting at it, you do sit pretty upright to that uh, seat there so pretty upright seat and then the steering wheel there so it is a pretty cool little go-kart all right guys i hope you enjoyed this um day out to the track basically it's also a really really good way to keep fitness up this i've been doing this sport ever since i was seven um, so i've been doing it for a very long time but i've been out of it for six months from traveling from brazil so uh, we went out today to dust some of the cobwebs off and we have a race meeting in Melbourne this weekend. So um, that's the purpose of us getting in it straight away. So felt good today. It feels good to get back in it. And um, if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing as well if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.